Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm still at John Bryan State Park. I had to end the previous video. I was going to start. I was trying to put my glove back on, but boy, it's a it could be a pain in the butt to put your glove back on uh, sometimes, but because sometimes your hands just don't want to. <laughs> Except it so I just got the one glove on my one hand, but I'm just carrying the other one for right now because I'm holding the the camera the camera my cell phone camera with my right hand but such is life It's not a phone unfortunately These are not the type of gloves that you can use touch compatibility with because if you go to the store you see some stores that say touch whatever the hell it's called but where you could use those on your cell phone not these huh. oh well it's all good yeah you can tell this is probably a section that probably has some water drainage issues but thankfully the ground has frozen it has froze it some see where hikers have been back on this trail as well lower great scott right here and then the abracadabra so i guess it loops around that way but um i'm not gonna do videos of that stuff today guys i'm sorry but unless i have some time on the way heading out of here i'm trying to get down to the river and do some miles on there. But I'll get the uh, MTB trails more another time. I've covered some of this one, but. My hand is really not that red because I've been having my gloves on but I think sometimes the gloves can undermine your circulation a little bit then make it harder to want to put your uh to put your glove back on because then sometimes your hand acts like it wants to to go to sleep on you which really sucks but that's just how it is Yeah, the volunteers, they work really hard to maintain the, uh, to maintain these MTB trails. The unfortunate thing is, I wish they could get enough, I'm sure they could get enough volunteers if they asked for it, is to get rid of all this honeysuckle in the park that's so desperate that they really need to get rid of because this whole area Glen Helen, John Bryan and the gorge is just overloaded with it and at this time of year they should be able to remove it I believe this is a building coming up here that's Great Scott Trail. Huh. Looks like a back of a building I'm coming up 
upon. I don't think I've ever seen this this building before. Celestial research, whatever the hell that is supposed to be. Looks ugly here. The gate opens outward. I really don't know what exactly they're or referring to with celestial research here, but uh, it's definitely interesting. I guess you see something new all the time, I guess. See where this little road leads. I know I'm still in the park yet. Definitely doing some trails that I'm not used to doing. Rescue access. Yeah, I'm going to try and get the gloves back on next video, but it's just, they're a pain in the butt to try and put on sometimes. Sometimes I don't always wear them, but when it's this cold, you got to. Oh. Looks like just a big road that just huh, be interesting to see what this road sign says. I wish this park was better marked, had a better, you know, that they would mark the trails here better. Five Rivers, I'll say this much, has a much better trail system. They mark their trails really good. And I think I'm back 
to where I was at possibly earlier. Anyways, that's it for this 